Hey everybody, Jake here and welcome back to the farm. We have a weird rainy day today, so I decided what uh, what better thing to do today than build some window boxes. So I'm gonna show you how to build these. It's really simple, really easy to do. I used PVC for this, cuts like wood. It's gonna last forever. Let me show you how it's done. So as I mentioned, we're making this out of PVC. This stuff is great. It cuts like wood. You can drill through it, screw into it. It's pretty good and it, it doesn't warp. It's not gonna rot. It's gonna last forever. So I recommend using this. You can also use wood. You get the same product. You're just gonna have to refinish the wood, that sort of thing. So this, zero maintenance, really good. So I've already got everything cut for the sides. And then I got my base cut as well. And I'm making these at 43 inches. So first thing I want to do is drill some holes. And I have my countersink bit on my drill. So drills a pilot hole, and then countersinks for the nail head or for the screw head. So I'm just going to do four of those along the big bottom. And the reason why I'm wanting to countersink everything is because I'm putting trim pieces on it to hide all of these. So we, so we're gluing and screwing everything together for extra strength. And this, this just kind of helps bring it all together. So we got those two. Then these are the end pieces. Now that those are done, what we're gonna do is wipe everything down. Everything needs to be dry. Like I said, I've been getting rain, so my PVC is a little wet, but since it's PVC, it's fine. It's not gonna warp or anything. So this is the glue that this company recommends. I'm using Azek, Azek, I don't know how you say it. Someone can correct me on that. So it recommends putting a thin layer of adhesive on both sides where you're gluing it together. So we got the bottom there. And then we're gonna do the edge of this board as well. Same thing, just a light coating. And we're going to line this up on here. Everything looks good. And then I'm just using general construction screws to screw it together. And then it helps if you have a uh, flat work surface. Mine's not really flat. So I just want to make sure the make sure the bottom edges line up here. everything away. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and do the ends, get those screwed in. And then for the ends, I'm going to use a corner jig to kind of hold everything together. Same thing, nice thin coat there on the sides. And then you want to make sure you get the miter as well, because this will kind of help hold it all glued together, obviously. So for the corners, 
gonna line those up like so. And then I got this, bought it at Lowe's. And all that does is slide over. And then you kind of make sure your miter joint is lined up and then clamp it on down. So I'm gonna go ahead and get one screw in here to kind of hold it all together. And then I'm going to drill into the miter at the bottom and top. And then I'll really just kind of hold it together. This is probably overkill, but I don't want to have to rebuild these, so. All right, now we're just gonna do the same to the other side. All right, so then with all the sides on, we're gonna go ahead and put the back piece on. Same thing, just get it glued up and then screw it together. All right, so we got our box glued and screwed together. I got my trim pieces cut that will now cover all of these screws and just make it look nicer. So we're gonna go ahead and get those on. And the easiest thing for these is just some clamps. These are pretty cheap. They're like two or three bucks at Lowe's. So, so same process with these. Just glue it, get the miter lined up. And then we're just gonna stick a clamp on each side here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this up and get the front going. And one can of this goes a pretty long way. This is my last box to make um, and I'm almost out. So one can will do four of these from my experience. So it all really depends on how much you put on as well. Get this flipped over. This glue sets up in like five minutes, so it's pretty quick. But it also means you don't have a ton of time to work with it. So you just wanna move quick. And that is done. And then we just got this last side to do. All right, so from there, with those done, we can kind of move it around a little bit. You don't have to be as careful with everything. Um, but now I got my thinner side pieces. And these are just gonna go here on the bottom.
then I just kind of hold this in place for a little bit until it tacks up, until the glue tacks up, and then you can go and work on the other sides. I could have taped it too, um, but this works just as easy for a couple second hold, then it's good to go. I'm gonna get my top piece on. It's always good to check before you start gluing it all together. That should work. So all in all, this has probably taken me, oh, say half an hour a box to do. Um, like I mentioned, I looked online and these were a couple hundred bucks a piece for our size. So that would have been oh, $800 to do our front windows plus shipping. I didn't even get that far to look and see how much shipping was. Um, so went to Lowe's, got the stuff there, and it was, I think I spent 400 bucks on materials maybe. So half the price, custom size to fit my windows, and uh, looks pretty good if I don't say so myself. Same thing on this, just hold it for a little bit. And then you're all set. Uh, the other nice thing with this adhesive is it does wipe up pretty quick. So as long as it's not stuck to another piece, it cleans up okay. You can also let it get dry and just scrape it off with your fingernail, which I've done a couple times on the flat surfaces. But uh, that's it. I'm going to let this dry, get them up on the house, and then we'll be ready for Lauren to plant some flowers in it. As usual, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're liking what you see and want to follow along with, with more projects that we're doing here on the farm, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and get updates on future projects here. And as always, thank you to your returning subscribers for coming back and supporting the channel. We really appreciate it, and we'll see everybody on the farm next time.